I have my sights set in the UFC, but even more than that, I have my sights set to be the greatest athlete, period, ever. I cry this game, I bleed this game. Every second of my day is all surrounded by this, and I'm making sacrifices that no one else is making, and for damn sure my opponents aren't making. My name is Solomon, King Solomon, the Black Dragon Renfro. I was born in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, I grew up in Buffalo, New York, and now I live in New York. Every morning, I usually start my day with uh, waking up, <laughs> go downstairs, usually oatmeal down there. Uh, my friend Danny's mom makes his oatmeal every morning. Eat the oatmeal, take some shots of protein, and then get here and get ready to work. Say what's up to everybody this morning. Spanish is getting that. <laughs> <laughs> for a year now, I got like two work. <laughs> Buenas noches. <laughs> Senorita. Uh, cereza. <laughs> I trained at Tiger Showman's MMA. To me, I feel like they're the best team. The best team in the world. I think what set Tiger Showman's apart from other gyms that you can go to would be uh, the, the family that you build being at Tiger Showman's. It's, it's not just you're joining into a gym, you're joining into a community, you know? Um, and, and they really live by that. I'm very, very grateful to be a part of it. Three hits the kick. When I shoot, sprawls, circles. Get that knee on the inside, right there. My coach is Ron Showman. Ray Velez and Danny Shulman, um, they're all like father figures. Uh, they're super supportive, very, very helpful, both on and off the mat. But uh, on the mat, it's all business. Off the mat, it's all love. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be in a place like this. When I go to TNT Training Center, uh, I usually go there to see Coach Tony. Um, he's my footwork coach. He works with a lot of NFL, NBA guys, and now he's working with the future goal to the MMA community. Uh, a lot of fat footwork. It's like you're sprinting nonstop. It's, it's treacherous. But if you don't do that now, you're not going to be ready to do it out there. I'm so much more connected to the ground, and I, and I know where my feet are. I'm always balanced well. Uh, so that's a big part of uh, my regimen. So after all the hard work is done, um, I usually go get some treatment at uh, Edge Pro Physical Therapy, which is also connected to TNT Training Center. The whole team there is amazing. Uh, without them, I probably wouldn't be able to train the way I train every single day. And then after that, I will head over to uh, Cryo. It's like a cold chamber, and you're in there for about three minutes, but it feels like you're in for 10 minutes. Everyone knows MMA is a very, very uh, high-paced sport, and you can't be like that all day, 24-7, you know? So if, in order for me to balance that, I like to go to the water. I like to really, I romance myself. I buy myself roses, I read myself poems, I color, I write. I do all those things to show love to myself and also keep myself calm, be able to balance that. It just helps me balance things. It helps me keep things like my yin and yang in a way, you know? After a hard um, training week, try to wrap it up, we're going to Korean barbecue. That's my favorite place to go. After I eat that meat, I feel like I'm all jacked up, man. Like, I feel like a Super Saiyan. Or, you, or even better, maybe a Super Saiyan God. God, God, God. God. Going into this fight, uh, my first time fighting LFA. Uh, I'm putting on there to put on a show. It's in Buffalo, it's in my hometown. I'm putting on there to put on a show and make a statement, and I will. 
Uh, I'm gonna beat this man until he quits. I'm sure the ref pulls me off. That's my job, so that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I will do. I'm walking away with the W no matter what. I'm taking this W. I train too hard. I cry this game. I bleed this game. I, I love it. I, I live it. Every second of my day is all surrounded by this. As soon as the bell rings, I'm going right at him. I'm not taking a step back. I'm going right at him and put him down. And I'm onto my neck. I'm not looking past him. I'm looking through him. Stay tuned. It's going to be a great ride.